Welcome back to Airbus Review USA in conjunction with Pelagans.com. Today we have the Hudson Factor. We will unbox that in a bit. Alright, so let's get the unboxing done. So opening up this beautiful hard carry case, it's very protected. So you'll see you'll get your sling. That's quite good. Uh, that's quite a nice thing to have in, you know, if you want to carry this gun. This gun is 3.6 kgs, so it is, it's, it's quite light for me, but for other people it's very heavy. So you can attach your sling over the shoulder and you can walk and stalk. You get your little bipod in there, as promising as what they would say. It's quite nice, you know, or like a handle in the front so you can have it like a AR-15 grip, you know. But that's quite cool. You get this rubber pad that you can put on the front right here on your Picatinny rail so if you would like not to use a bipod on the front here you can use this as a grip here in the front so it sits quite nice it's not hard on your hand and then bam 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 jam 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 so that's quite good talking about loading this side you'll be able to swap your cocking lever from the left to the right so this gun is truly ambidextrous except for the magazine the magazine only loads in from this side can't load in from the other side so yeah only loads in from one side. Another thing what I've noticed with this gun inside the box, let me put this bad boy here, you get this little white box here saying Hudson Factor. Then if we have a look at this magazine, <laughs> look at that, this you get two magazines inside here that is pretty decent. There are 21 rounds in 0.22, this is, this is awesome. Hudson, well done. We're going to check how it works. Um, you get like a little tool here that you put on the back. I'll show you just now in due course how it works to preload your magazine to put in your pellets. Okay, quick way to show you how to use this thing. Go into your little white box. You'll see you'll have this little tool. See, that's how it looks. See, there's a little nut. Make sure it fits on there. All you'll do is turn it around in a circle. See there? See there? Look at that. See, if I let it go, it's on spring tension. Go all the way right around so you see the hole right through you'll then take your preferred pellets which i've got the jsb 18 grains so let's quickly do that again just turn it around hold it like that with one finger put your pellet in that's it and let it go and then it catches up with the spring tension then what you'll do you'll see it will say open so you'll slide it to the one side and then just load each and every single one in I mean, how easy is that? Get a single shot loader tray. Then you get a tool. So this tool, you can either use it for, um, on. you get two models of this gun. Regulated and non-regulated. We got the non-regulated one. So some of these parts on this tool here, you can use it for your regulated side. Or you can use this flat point. We'll take the gun right here. And look at that. You can remove this screw and you can remove those screws right there and you can swap your cocking lever from the left to the right or you can use this piece to remove the stock here at the back if you've got a different one just to tighten and re-tighten it on this castle nut or if it's loose just tighten it up so it comes with a little tool so that's quite cool so that's all that comes in the box but one thing that I did notice as well that's pretty decent if you put this gun inside here this air gun look at that fits nice and decent so we have our scope by the way this is our newer scope discovery optics it's a 3 to 9 by 40 IRAC this is a very nice one look at this guys look at this what do they say here leveling position what does that mean that means when you put this onto your gun you can put your bubble level on the top here and you can get the true everything worked out so that you don't have a canting error issue on your gun so that it's perfectly in line with your barrel but anyway let's go on that this this is pretty cheap i mean look at that this is pretty good so you just have to open up the caps here to adjust your 
windage up and down also very positive looks pretty cool look at that um, it's MOA and your zoom right over there so look at that zoom that zoom looks pretty decent it's got like a cutaway there for it comes with its flip-up covers and then a cap here at the back just to protect your glass and then I put on high mount of the Picatinny so this gun will allow you to put Picatinny or dovetail this is what I'm liking on all the air gun manufacturers they're doing this I mean some guys when they come and buy some scopes from you guys you know they were like I don't know if I've got Picatinny or I've got dovetail but it doesn't matter anymore because now you've got best of both worlds on the top yeah but anyway let's go on about the gun so it's got a yeah, stock that can adjust forward or backwards and then you can also adjust your cheek piece up and down depending on your scope height and then it's very soft here at the back so it's a rubber piece that will catch into your arm i really tend to like these um, they're catchy on your clothes so you don't slip you know that so when you plant it in there it's sturdy and then another feel on the foregrip here it's pretty nice and like rubber so it sticks to your hand that's what i like about this ladies and gentlemen um yeah look at the safety let me come around look at that safety guys right here by your fingers that's what you that's where you need it you know so you can say okay no let's go fire okay no i need to have it on safe then another thing is have a look at this this is a hammer adjuster so it is set from factory on its highest then if you turn the gun around here you go have a look at that you've got a power wheel setting one two and three i'll give you the power settings and how much it shoots on these things just now um yeah like i said you can change your cocking lever to the left or to the right it's got a match style trigger so you can adjust this trigger shoe left right up and down it's like all the angles that you would like you know so that your finger would sit in it quite decent and you don't have to take anything off to adjust the trigger so you can adjust this trigger how you want it to be but from factory it's pretty decent so yeah for the guys that's got itchy fingers to try and set this thing to be spot on you can do it at least they offer you that um, scenario to do that so this barrel is quite long and it's got a they call it a QE quiet energy so in the front here it's got a muzzle stripper inside here so which in turns to make this your silencer as well so you've got a half inch UNF thread in the front to put on a silencer which we got today I really really like this fat boy um, with the air stripper in the front this thing is pretty decent Don FL you guys done a good job on this thing so that's what we'll do I'll put on a bipod just now show you how it looks it looks pretty decent and then yeah like I said check at this when I put the gun in this air gun in the box I can put my scope on you can have your scope on it all right look there you can have your scope and then look at that you can put the fat boy in there and then your sling obviously will be in the inside yeah and then you can put your bipod also in the back yeah and then your magazines and everything in that one place and then still use it with your scope on except with your silencer your silencer will be too long if you have it on so that's why they've got a big space here to put it in i mean look it even takes a fat boy inside here this packaging is very nice and soft protects your gun protects your scope what more can you ask for hudson you guys did a great job well done but anyway let's stop talking and let's go do a 50 meter grouping and let's see what pellets or slugs it likes see you now Okay, so we're down here at 50 meters. I've got the 23 grain H&N slugs to group quite well with this gun shooting 849 feet per second. Um, this thing's power wheel is quite nice on the side, on the left hand side as you're looking at the gun like this. Uh, the first number you get about 9 to about 18 joules, okay. The second one is about 11 to 30 joules, alright, depending on what weight pellet you use obviously and then the third one which is flat out uh, 20 to 36 joule but bear in mind that your power wheel adjuster is adjusted all the way to its hardest max setting but anyway let's do a five shot grouping quickly down there I really like this magazine because you keep on shooting and it just allows you to have so much fun so let me do a five shot grouping So I don't know if you guys can hear that the wind is blowing quite a lot here by us. Eight hundred 
So it's quite nice. You can adjust everything on the fly while you're going around and walking. So it's up to you whatever speeds you want to shoot it at with any pellet. So one thing that I've noticed as well, I had to clean this barrel. Because from, from, from the beginning, um, it was not um, grouping as well. Because I didn't check, it had a lot of gunk inside the barrel, like the shipping compound or so on, which is quite good. So it preserves that liner in the inside there. So you're rifling actually. So yeah, let's go look at that grouping. That was pretty good. Uh, the wind is a little bit blowy but today, you know, gust in and yeah, but I'm pretty hidden away yeah, in between the shrubs and the bushes and so on. So it's quite lack of this side, but down there it's, it opens up. So, but yeah, that was a five shot grouping with the 23 H uh, and slugs. So it's pretty good. So let's go down range and see how it looks. Alrighty, so we are at 50 meters with this Hudson factor. Have a look at that grouping. I'll put the bigger picture up there for you guys now to see how it looks, um, which is pretty good. Darn good, especially in this wind. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the camera, but it is blowing here. I mean, look, even at the gong, it's moving all the way with the wind. That's on and off. But anyway, I really like this gun and the way it looks. I mean, even with that Fat Boy 2 silencer on the front there with a the muzzle brake, I'm starting to like that, that, that silencer. I don't know why, but I'm liking it. Um, merely because it, it does sound quite quiet with that silencer airstripper in the front. But uh, more than that, it looks pretty stylish, you know. I like it. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so the shots per fill that I got in this gun was about 100. All right, with that speeds that I got there. So it is pretty decent. This scope was pretty crisp. It was spot on. It doesn't have a, magnif a magnification setting on the side. Uh, well, I mean parallax setting on the side it's got a magnification right here on the top all right no parallax in the front here or on the side so it is a fixed um, parallax so which is quite nice you know for 50 meter shooting like i just did now it was pretty darn good i mean i put it on magnification six so i could see where the shots were going um you can even put bigger scopes on so you can see like right into the dots right there but you don't really need to um for a hunting scene this is pretty spot on. I mean, that size there compared to a, a pigeon, it's a no-brainer. You can even take headshots. That's about the size of a pigeon's head. I mean, goodness, this gun will be able to smash those pigeons out of the park. Like I said, you can do the adjustments on the fly, on the side here with a hammer wheel or your pellet port, um, you know, for the better flow of air into your barrel so you can choose you know it's got a lot of settings that you can set it at um, for me i really like that you can adjust this up and down so if you do put in a like higher scope mounts or very low scope mounts like i put now the lower scope mounts actually so that i could see that this big magazine will fit so this magazine fits let me show how it looks there check it out look at that magazine see it fits quite lack smooth it's not even bothering me here check that see really like it 21 shot count out of this mag so it's a 21 shot mag that's very very decent i really like it it's got a 500 cc bottle in the front here so you've got a whole lot of like i said shot count um what more is to say about this gun this gun is just flipping fantastic uh it is very very stylish I like the way it looks, especially with the barrel, you know, with the like tactical style look, which I really like. It's got a nice scope on it. This is a good combo. I really enjoyed it. Yes, you can shoot your 18 grain JSBs. You just need to find your sweet spot on your um, hammer and on your transfer port to get the right speeds. And then there we go. And remember, clean your barrels before you shoot because they are full of... Um, they call it a shipping compound, you know, to uh, preserve the barrel on the inside so it doesn't get rusted um, when it gets shipped, yeah. So please clean it out before. I mean, sometimes some guys shoot them out, but the wisest thing, just clean them out with your normal ballistol and a patchworm kit. Perfect. Stay away from your copper brushes. Do not put in any of those nylon brushes. Just use your ballistol oil. 
pull it through till it's clean with the wads and you'll be spot on but yeah like i said look how cool this thing looks with the bipods on the front here accutax man it's a flipping good contender well that's it for me guys i really like this um side cocking leave on the side yeah it's a biathlon one it's quite nice and positive so for me i really like this air gun uh, come down to pelagans.com get yourself one shoot one and yeah love you and uh see you guys next time please like and share and subscribe to ever's review sa and we'll see you in the next one see you at huntex guys 2022 have a great day